The media and Republicans would have you believe that Republicans are gaining momentum headed toward the 2024 election. Hell, they'll tell you that Donald Trump will beat Joe Biden in five swing states. I've always said that's bullshit rhetoric. Do not believe it. But it's also typical Republican. Make shit up, lie, exaggerate, put it out there in hopes that people will believe it. Now, of course, Trump Lefux will believe it. But there are some Democrats that believe it too and get very, very nervous. Oh my God, Donald Trump is going to win the presidency. Oh my God, the Republicans are going to win the House and Senate. Whatever will we do? The sky is falling. But again, it's all just rhetoric. I've also said the biggest issue coming up in 2024 is the abortion issue. Prior to 2022, the Republicans overturned Roe v. Wade. There was no red wave and they took a shit. It was bad for them in 2022. So you would think the Republicans would be smart enough to say, ah, maybe we ought to back off the abortion thing. That's not what they did. They embraced it. They got more fervent about banning abortion. And they think somehow that's going to help them in 2024. I think deep down they know it's not, but they're going to try to bullshit their way through and convince you that everybody's on board with banning abortion. Well, the fact of the matter is rhetoric is rhetoric. The rubber doesn't hit the road until people walk into voting booths and actually cast votes. And that's what happened last night. Here are the facts and not the bullshit rhetoric. In Virginia... Glenn Youngkin, the governor, said that he was going to ban abortion after 15 weeks. He was pretty confident about it. He was pretty proud about it. He believed everybody in the state was backing him 100%, except last night when they had the election. Guess what happened? The state Senate, the majority was maintained by the Democrats. And in the House, the Democrats flipped the majority to them. So guess what? Glenn Youngkin's plans are on the shelf, or shit can. And why did this happen? It was about the abortion issue. Here's what Republicans don't understand. As much as they're proud of it, and much as they count on making money from it, 70% of this country support Roe v. Wade. That doesn't bode well for elections, and for whatever reason, Republicans can't grasp that. But it doesn't stop there. How about Ohio? Ohio was pretty draconian with their abortion laws, and they were sure that everybody in Ohio stood behind them, except they were forced to put it on the ballot. Now, the Ohio Republicans knew this was going to be a non-starter, so they tried everything they could do to stop it from being on the ballot, and they played games and all this shit, but it was on the ballot. And guess what? Resoundingly, the citizens of Ohio voted to not make abortion illegal. In fact, they put it in their constitution. Ohio essentially codified Roe v. Wade in their state. Now, the Republicans got to be being pretty nervous at this point. They're counting on this as their one issue to get them elected. But as I told you before, it's a non-starter. It doesn't work. Are Republicans just too stupid or are they trying to force the issue on all of us? I consider both. Both, because they cannot win in 2024. Don't believe the rhetoric. Listen to what happens in the voting booth.